Hi, I'm Young John, bringing you 2019's Toy Fair at the Jacob Javits Center. Hello, I'm Dr. Penny Norman, and I do the Science Whiz line. And what I want to show you today is our clip-on microscope. And this is actually a microscope. Now there are clip-ons out there that are magnifiers, but they don't actually allow you to look at slides. And this microscope does. So I want to demonstrate how the clip-on microscope works. After positioning the slide, all you do is turn on the light. And it's really important to turn on the light. If you don't, it's not going to work. Next, you just take a cell phone or a tablet. There's no special software required. You simply turn on the camera app. And I'm going to go into selfie mode on this camera. And the next thing I'm going to do is just slide the microscope over the lens of the camera in selfie mode. And when I do that, I'm lining it up and it lets you see directly the cells themselves. So there's no need to focus, it auto focuses. And you can take a picture, if a child is doing it, you and the child can view it at the same time. There's no need to look down a tube. And this is around 200X optical. Now it also works with the camera on the other side. So I'm gonna to flip to the other side and I'm gonna put the microscope this time over the lens of the phone camera. And these tend to be sometimes higher res, sometimes they have a 2X optical feature, as does this one. So now what we're gonna do is go in with the 2X optical, and you're gonna get a better resolution, and you're creating, in essence, a compound microscope. This is around 400X. So what you have here is a true microscope that can you can see cells and look at slides. It's wonderful to view insects because you can see the details of their antenna and their mouth parts and their wing structure and their compound eyes in ways that at lower mags you just can't see. And what, what astonished me, we have a, a, one, some, a set on bugs, is, uh, is just how varied the insect legs and wings were. The honeybee has very hairy legs, which makes sense because they've got to collect pollen with those legs. And the uh, praying mantis essentially has uh, swords and they actually spear their prey with them. It makes all of this very accessible to a child. And one of the things that surprised me is just how globally children can function with the camera, even starting at four or five. Well, one interesting thing about this microscope is there's this huge working distance above the lens. So you can actually build a slide in place and record what you're doing in uh, slow motion. You can video record as you build a slide. So you can harvest your own cheek cells, plop them down on the slide, watch as they drop, add the stain, add the cover slip, and then record in slow motion as the, your nuclei turn blue. To get a large working distance lens above a regular microscope, would cost a lot of money. It's in the thousands of dollars range, and this is $29.95. <laughs> we have all these slide sets, and animal, plant, insect tissue, uh, and make your own slides. The microscope won a blue ribbon as a choice of the stores in the hardware trade last year, because it really is a breakthrough item, it, because the magnification is actually in the microscope range. It does break down, you can put it in your pocket. And you should be careful with the lens because it is a high precision lens. And if it gets dusty, you're gonna see the dust. <laughs> They're gonna look like great big balls of, of <laughs> great big clods. <laughs> Visit the website www.sciencewiz.com 